Hey ladies, happy Saturday. I love Saturday. Um, I am here today to do a video on my skincare. Um, somebody actually inboxed me and asked me to do a video about my products and regimen that I use on my skin, which is um, really, really sweet because my skin is definitely a work in progress. I have, um, I would say I have combination skin that goes more toward on the oily side. Um, I really don't have dry skin at all. I never do, but my skin is not oily, so that's why I say it's combination. But, um, yeah. Or maybe it's normal. I don't know, guys. But, um, it is really not an issue for me as far as, um, dryness is concerned. I'm mainly focused on right now anti aging as well as, um, you know, preventative measures because I'm not trying to be a member of the Botox Nation. So I'm really focused on anti aging. I really want to, um, of course, keep my skin as clear as possible. I tend to have a problem with blackheads and whiteheads occasionally, and also um, when I don't eat really well, when I really just eat a bunch of junk food for a consistent amount of time, um, when I'm stressed, and also when I get my monthly visitor, I tend to get a few blemishes. So um, I get occasional blemishes I'm focused on anti-aging and just keeping my skin clear and you know um, even toned and all that good stuff so with all that said I'm gonna get into my skin regimen I um, wash my face at night so I do a bulk of my skincare routine I would say I do a bulk of my skincare routine at night so what I do is I cleanse my skin using my Clarisonic Mia Got the whole leopard print, animal print thing going all over today. But yes, I've been using this um, for about a year. I'm sure you guys have seen um, a video or heard about this. It's a skin clear blush. The bristles oscillate. It's made by the same people who make the Sonicare toothbrush, which I also use. I love my electronic toothbrush and my electronic skin cleansing brush. Um, it does the little vibrating thing for about a minute or so and it helps to exfoliate your skin and helps your products to penetrate better um, by removing the it helps with cell turnover and also helps to remove that skin faster because the bristles do move and um, oscillate and all that fun stuff and it does that for a minute or so and then you just um, do like this in small circles around your face the brushes come in three different intensities there's a delicate for people who have like rosacea and very sensitive skin there's a sensitive which is this one the one that I use and then there's a normal and I guess the normal is um a little bit deeper cleansing and I do want to try that one eventually but I am happy with this one it's very very soft very soft it's not harsh on my skin at all um, my skin I would say is not overly sensitive but um, I don't want to use something that feels like sandpaper on my face and this is very very soft and doesn't irritate my skin at all and just leaves my face very very clean feeling um, and I do think that it helps my products to penetrate better because I don't have like you know flaky skin ever since using this and I've been using this for about a year or so and I love it I think it has definitely helped to um, keep my skin clear I have noticed that keep my skin clear it claims to shrink your pores I guess my pores look a little smaller than they did beforehand they weren't ever like humongous to begin with but I just like this for overall um, skin clearing skin clearing skin cleaning because I do feel that it gives the um, moisturizer and just the day off your face and it helps to um give you a light exfoliation and I do use this every night so I use it seven days a week and I have no problem using it um every day no skin irritation or anything like that so um moving on to what I actually wash my face with and I have been using the yes to carrots nourishing daily facial cleanser um, this is a cream based facial cleanser it's not gel based and it has really awesome ingredients it's great for hydration it has coconut oil um, aloe vera leaf juice uh, shea butter carrot I think carrot root extract so this is mainly for moisturizing in my skin cleaning um, routine this cleanser is definitely all about the hydration if you're looking for something that's like anti acne this really isn't going to do it for you but as far as leaving my skin really soft and um, soft what is that soft and um, just leaving it um, hydrated I really like this y'all can tell I'm not used to doing skincare videos I'm like out of my element but I'm 
I'm gonna try to make it through this video and have it make sense. So yes, I use this. Um, I also for the past uh, six months or so, I was using the Nubri the Nubian Heritage body wash, the African Black Soap. I was using that body wash as a facial cleanser, and that is gel based and it has like two percent salicylic acid, as well as um little jojoba beads that are supposed to be good for exfoliation so I was using that for the bulk of this year and um I forgot it back home but it's very very cost effective I think it's like 12 ounces or something like that and it was only like seven bucks from Vitacost so I really like that it's very um it leaves my skin a not stripped but it feels very very clean whereas this leaves it very very soft and I can like literally feel the softness but um, I'm really liking this one and I like that one as well since I've been using it for the bulk of the year um, I can definitely attest to the results for that one whereas this one I've been using it for about a month but I haven't seen any ill effects I got it from Target I don't know if they still make this in the yes to uh, veggies line or whatever it was like on sale for like a dollar sixty so I don't know if they still make it but I like it it's just a nice cleanser just to get everything off um so I leave my cleanser on for the duration of my shower and just to let the good stuff in it kind of marinate my skin and then I wash it off and after I get out the shower I tone my skin with either the body shop tea tree skin exfoliating pads with um, tea tree oil it comes with 40 of these or I'll use the body shop tea tree skin clearing toner right here and this actually is mattifying it has cornstarch at the bottom of the um, bottle and you just shake it up it's a mixture of cornstarch as well as um a couple oils tea tree oil um, witch hazel which is also good as a toner by itself I've heard great things about witch hazel and you just combine the two and um, the tea tree oil in it is supposed to be good for helping to prevent or um, treat acne I guess and the cornstarch is a good mattifier because it helps soak up the oil if you're a little oily so I vastly prefer this to these these are the pre moistened pads and they are not cost effective compared to this um, it comes with about let's see 40 pads I'm like halfway through these versus all this liquid right here so this is much more cost effective they both leave my skin I'm um, feeling very clean and refreshed they remove any other traces of um dirt or oil that I somehow missed really but the thing I like most about them is the tea tree oil I've been using tea tree oil in my um, skincare regimen for the past I don't know 13 years and it's my favorite acne treatment so I definitely like to use things with tea tree oil in them um, after I use that then I am trying to get better about this guys I would use some type of eye treatment um, I've been using the body shop I do it's just a little sample and I've also been using the beyond belief vita C nourishing eye cream right here it is like totally not not gonna happen but um yeah you can't see it too well but um there we go this is sold at Sally's Beauty Supply I haven't seen it anywhere else I don't know if it's like their line or whatever but this is just a little under eye cream this is wow this is a cream this is gel base I prefer the gel base just because it's very soothing on my eyes because I'm constantly pulling at my eyes since I'm a contact lens wearer so um depending on how I feel about this sample once I'm done with it I may purchase this or I may go with something a little bit more high-end like Lancome or something like that because um, the skin around your eyes is so thin and delicate I really want to concentrate on this area um, as much as I can so I'll apply some type of eye treatment and I will also apply um, a little moisturizer at night as well and I've been using the body shop seaweed clarifying night treatment and this is good for combination skin um, combination oily skin and says that it balances excess oil as it moisturizes so I really was looking for something that was a one-two punch in a night moisturizer I wanted something that was anti-aging that wouldn't clog my pores and also treated acne um, I'm still on the search for that this is the closest that I could find so far um, I definitely don't notice anything as far as the treatment of acne or anti-aging um, it's just something to put on after I've cleansed and toned my skin to not have my not go to bed like with completely naked skin I want it to feel um, moisturized when I wake up in the morning so I've been using this and I use this probably um, at least five days out of the week 
um, a couple of days I do like to go to bed with absolutely nothing on my skin um, except for maybe the eye treatments um, just to let it breathe a little bit so I'll do that and that's um and then at night I also apply my little my little baby bottle little baby jar of um, Vaseline on my lips because lips are skin as well so I'll do that and um, that's my complete nighttime routine that's the bulk of my skin care um, in the morning time it's very very super simple um, I just cleanse I mean I'll just tone my skin with one of these two and I will apply my moisturizer that I've been absolutely loving I'm almost out of this but I already ordered a re-up from vitacost.com it is the DaVita DaVita and it's the solar protective moisturizer SPF 30 and I'm so happy that I found this guys because it is a moisturizer that has a very high concentration of um, SPF in it, SPF 30, which is awesome. I wanted a moisturizer that had a really high concentration, not just like 15, I wanted 30. And um, since I maintained my year-round tan uh, all year, I wanted something that wasn't going to leave my skin looking kind of like weird and ashy with the um, white undertone of the sunblock because I didn't want it to make my skin look like special. I wanted to blend in like a regular moisturizer and this does this makes my skin feel very soft it doesn't leave it overly oily um, I have my skin protection going on and it's 100% vegan and paraben free if anybody's interested in that so um this I've been using since January of this year I believe and we're into mid-August and I'm just now like starting to get to about here so it's very um very concentrated you don't need too much and I think this is only I've seen the price on this fluctuate on vitacost.com I don't know why but the prices on vitacost change a little bit but it's I've seen it anywhere from like 12 to 14 bucks so not bad for a high quality moisturizer so I really enjoy this and that is my main basic skincare routine like that's what I do consistently and um, I feel that my skin since I've been doing these that been doing these things um I guess it's a combination of aging I'm 25 now so um I guess my skin the oil production is um kind of balanced out from my teen years I think that this routine has helped me to um keep blemishes at bay I could do a lot better internally but externally that's what I've been doing and I think that it helps to um do what I want it to do for the most part as far as um getting rid of blackheads and all that fun stuff I like talking about hair y'all I'm not a skincare person I'm trying to um I have a couple other things that I do that I'm trying to remember I have a Lancer which is um I don't have it with me right now but it's just like a flat metal thing if you guys have ever gotten facials I just use the flat metal thing right along this area right here after I've gotten out of the shower because your pores are open and I remove some of the congestion around my nose like the blackheads and stuff and that helps to decrease blackheads and I also do that along my chin because my chin um is definitely the most congested area of my face where I get blackheads and pimples so I'll do that also to kind of just get as much gunk out of my face as possible so delightful to talk about but um what else do I do oh yes a couple other things like kinda special occasion not even special occasion but things that I don't do that often um I will do a bentonite clay mask on my face about once a month when I go home is where my bentonite clay is I try to use bentonite clay on my hair the um Aztec secrets one but it just no that does not work on my face I mean on my hair at all so I'll just use bentonite clay mixed with a little apple cider vinegar or white vinegar and put it on my face just to give my skin um, a deep deep cleansing and um, it feels very soft afterwards and kind of firmer so I do like to do that once a month and also something I've been loving that I heard about um, from I'm gonna mess up her username but a lady who I um, encountered on curl talk in the 4a forum she was talking about this product about how good it was for blackheads so I tried it out and it's the Kate Somerville exfoliate and this is um, an intensive exfoliating treatment and it has a bunch of um, fruit enzymes and that's the main exfoliating agent in it the fruit enzymes and it has like a kind of grainy texture so um, you just massage it in your skin for about 30 seconds 
and it says that it helps to fade discoloration revealing smooth glowing complexion and I love this stuff you guys I love it so much I use it about once a week and my skin can be feeling and looking a little bit dull and I'll apply this leave it on for about two minutes or so and um rinse it off with a warm wash towel or whatever and uh, my skin feels soft it has a nice glow to it um it just looks more alive again and it's a very teeny tiny little little uh container i think it's only like one it's like 0.5 ounces and when i first got it i was like really dude but you really don't need that much you need like maybe a pea-sized amount on your finger and um a pea-sized amount or maybe two to get i have a big face so i need extra um exfoliating product but yeah you just do that for like 30 seconds and rinse it off and my skin feels very very soft and um just amazing so i really like this i got it for 19 dollars for from sephora and um i'm a fan i really like that stuff um what else have i been doing oh yeah i have the clean and clear Persa gel tin this has 10 percent benzoyl peroxide and most anti-acting um anti-acting oh my god anti-acne products have like anywhere from two to five percent this has ten percent and it's maximum strength and it says like prescription strength basically but i got it from target for like five or six bucks and um i can tend to get like really angry type of acne right here and i also had two really bad pimples i had one here and one here that's still kind of on its way out but um i think that is the result of me wearing my hair down more and i think the oils from my hair are transferring to my skin so i need to um be conscious of that but i used this to help to dry those out because they were like some big suckers and i think that they did help to dry them out quicker if you apply it to the surrounding skin your skin well my skin um did start to get a little dry so this stuff is serious 10 percent so i will use this only for like big pimples to help them go down a little bit more but i like this it helps to if you have something to do or if you just want to get that pimple out of there quicker this i recommend this but um as far as topical acne treatments i do like tea tree oil as i stated before i've gotten my tea tree oil from the body shop they sell the little ones and also trader joe's um I will apply that directly to my blemishes. You're supposed to dilute it, but I apply it directly to my blemishes. And um, I also ordered a little topical ant, like little spot treatment thingy from um, Vitacost in my last order. So um, maybe I'll do an update video that is a little bit more um, fluid because I'm so not used to talking about skincare, so I'm all over the place. But yeah, um, if I notice any significant changes in my skincare or anything like that, um, I'll do an update maybe in like three months or so to see. But um, yep, so I just wanted to do that for the person that requested it, and I hope that was helpful in some way. Um, I'm loving my hair. I used, um, and I have broken my no buy a little bit, y'all. I've broken my no buy. I got the um, Curly Kinks Twist Whip and a couple of other things to try from Curly Kink. Can't talk today. A couple of other things from Curly Kinks. Um, but yeah, I have the Twist Whip in my hair and their leave-in conditioner, the Curly Whip leave-in conditioner. I have that under my under my hair also as a leave-in with some um, old formula, Karen's Body Beautiful hair cream as a sealant on my ends. And I love my hair. It like. This braid out was so bomb, you guys. I took it out. I took the braids out a couple days ago or like yesterday. No, it was a couple days ago. And my hair looked so good. So I cannot wait to do a review on those products because um, I'm liking it. Um, it's a little dry because it has been so hot here lately. I'm debating washing my hair tomorrow even though I was supposed to not wash it until next weekend because I usually try to get at least two weeks of no styling out of my um no wet styling out of my um protective styles like if I'm doing like a braid out or twist out I try to go at least two um weeks before washing and tangling again but I don't know I might do it just because um, my boyfriend is supposed to visit this um next weekend and I don't want to spend any time uh doing my hair when I could be spending it with him so so yep I have gone off of my tangent long enough I hope you ladies are having a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you soon bye guys